There are very few celebrities who leave Hollywood who are willing to talk about the terrible things that happen there. I'm not talking about the surface level things. I'm talking about the things that happen behind the curtains, you know, the things that go bump in the night. And that is exactly what we're going to be talking about here today. Actor Jonathan Rumi claims entertainment landscape has become increasingly sinister and in some cases even demonic in tone. And I think that as we look at the continual degradation of our culture, the continual decline of our culture, it's very obvious to see that things are not heading in a very good direction, and a lot of that stems from, unfortunately, the entertainment that is continually pumped into our brains, into what we, uh, you know, on our TV screens, and all of that type of stuff, some of the stuff that goes on out there. So the chosen actor, Jonathan Rumi, who plays Jesus Christ, appeared at the annual March for Life in Washington, D.C., and noted that the landscape in the entertainment industry, especially in film, television, music has become increasingly sinister. About halfway through his speech, Rumi stated, for some time now we have been witnesses to a mounting polarity between light and dark. We've seen it manifest itself in many facets of culture, which I think we can all attribute to. You know, we, we are definitely seeing that continual polarization between two very different groups of people in our culture. You know, one want to continue to do terrible things, and, and you know, a lot of that unfortunately involves children, which is a complete tragedy. And then we see more people that are wanting to actually stand up against a lot of that that is going on. He continued, but I would like to address, as I see, as an artist in the entertainment industry, the last several years, there's been a sharp and disturbing increase in the darkness of the imagery being used in film, television, and music. The landscape has become increasingly sinister. And what he says here is absolutely just phenomenal. The youngest of us, the most vulnerable, as well as those who are not grounded in a solid faith in God, are susceptible to the influences of those images, which is very true, which is why a lot of that, that type of content is continuing to be pushed onto a younger and younger audience. Media has become a portal to behavior and attitudes kids want to emulate that reject God, reject the light, and reject ultimately all those aspects of community which give life. I have observed God subtly, but radically being removed from public popular culture over the, la the last couple of decades. Replaced with some of the most corruptive images and ide ideologies for young hearts and minds. And we can see that very clearly with a lot of the stuff that we are battling in the culture right now, which is the woke ideology, the woke religion, which completely rejects anything that is, you know... And any of us who profess any kind of faith are branded as fundamental or condemned for their beliefs with the assertions of the religiosity of the Pharisee. This is completely contrary to what it means to have a relationship with Jesus Christ and follow his teachings. After criticizing the entertainment industry, he also took issue with social media platforms and so-called influencers. Rumi then began to conclude his speech stating, We are under an assault on our sense of virtue. An attack on the family stru structure and the sacredness of the gift of life, which is something that I am very passionate about, you know, and that's something that I totally believe is, is that Hollywood is completely attacking the family structure. They they can't stand the family structure. They can't stand strong families. And it's not just Hollywood. Unfortunately, it's all of our major institutions that are continuing to try to destroy strong families. And when you destroy strong families, then you have a weak culture. It's at least awesome to see at least someone who is willing to call out the insanity of what is going on in the culture. There are very few celebrities who are willing to do that. So kudos to him for doing that. And honestly, it's really awesome to see so with all of that being said let me know what you think about what he says here hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe and i'll talk to you all in another video very soon